Councilmember Nancy Nadeau, thanks for your time. Sure. What's your opinion regarding the incident itself? Well, I think the incident is one thing, and then the the propensity of incidences like this is another, and that's sort of what I wanted to speak to today. Um, the, from what we saw in the videotape, it, it's horrifying, and uh, I definitely want to see something quickly happen with respect to um, the, the DA taking some, some action. Uh, but uh, again, all we saw was the videotapes of, of the exact incident. However, I didn't see any, any uh, um, resistance on the part of, of the uh, victim, and, and that to me is, is pretty horrible to, to have uh, used um, excessive, uh, excess force, and really, really deadly force at, at that moment. Um, my, my concern as a whole is that all of the institutions in the city who have police forces, I think we really need to get together, look at our training programs, look at how we are training our officers. Are we moving towards peace officers instead of police officers? Of course, we also have some very violent people in our community who are carrying very heavy weapons, so we have to be aware of that and, and be able to, to address those kinds of situations too. But, but I think that the, the propensity of, of using deadly force on only people of color. I think we need to look at that data and uh, what, what we are doing to actually transform the thinking of our police departments to be peace officers, uh, I think we need to do as institutions together because we all, many of us have uh, officers who carry weapons. Oh, also the riots. Does that take you by surprise? It took me by surprise. I'm just well, yeah, Oakland is not known for having riots. Uh, and I, I, I think from hearing many of the speakers, a lot of them were from San Francisco. Uh, and, and then our kids will, of course, jump on the bandwagon. So uh, I don't think they had good influence to, to model behavior after. I think that it was adolescent, it was self-indulgent, uh, that's often adolescents do that, uh, but, but it really harmed other people as well. And you know, I'm, I come from a restorative justice uh, place and that's where I'm moving towards in terms of what I think our, our whole justice system ought to be. And, and I think that those folks need to recognize, as, even though they were frustrated, that their actions harmed other people who were equally frustrated. Uh, many peaceful demonstrators came back and found their cars wrecked and, and that's not, this is not right. It just makes no sense. It, uh, channeling your energy to where it really will make a difference is very important. Uh, as a physicist, I, I, I really look at where you put your energy and, and how you pressure it in exactly the right place. And that was not in the right place. I know you want to get in there, so I'll come back to you. Uh Today, and I noticed there's no text from BART expressing their condolences to